My first question is for all three of you, actually. You all have extensive background in the theater, and obviously this um, film is based off of August Wilson's stage play. So I wanted to know as performers, is there a difference in your approach as far as preparing a character for the stage and for film? I don't really think so. I, I, th I think that we, I think we all approach these roles. You look at what's laid out before you and we do our, our work and our research and our detail. And, but the beautiful thing about this experience is that we did, we were afforded to have uh, two weeks of rehearsal, which is rare for film. So we, we were able to really dissect the language and really get to know one another and really um, become the ensemble that you saw. So we'll start with <laughs> yeah, you, Michael. Basically. <laughs> basically <laughs> I appreciate it no, I appreciate that. The, the quick version is yeah it's the same thing yes it's the same thing. <laughs> all that talking you did Coleman all that blabbing you did to say you it's same yes same thing thank you no 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 no, no. I appreciate you I'm totally um, kidding Michael for slow drag I want to know what are some of your favorite characteristics of him I love that it, this is such an intimate setting and we got to see so many dimensions of each one of your characters. So if there's one thing that you could pick out and highlight, what would it be? I don't know if one particular scene, but I but what I loved about him is he loves these men in this room. And he loves being in this room. He doesn't want to be in this room. <laughs> He'd like to get out of this dungeon <laughs> and get out of Chicago, but he truly enjoys the camaraderie of being amongst uh, you know his brothers, all all four of them, and 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 the fun they can have in 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 this hot claustrophobic room with all of these egos and masculinity popping off <laughs> all around. There's something very very fun about that for him. So for you, Glenn, this is a very charged performance. And I want to know, being that this was Chadwick Boseman's last performance, is there a favorite scene that you had as far as interacting with him or a moment of his in the film altogether that you would like to highlight? I like the scene where we uh, do a little dance off when I, when I challenge him and I say, uh, uh, you know, uh, niggas always looking to have a good time. You know, and he's doing his little dance and he's blowing the horn at me and making fun of me uh, of Toledo, you know, he's, and he does a little dance. And then Toledo finally, and this is this just happened in the moment of while we were doing the show because we didn't rehearse this. Uh, and uh, the old man says, well, uh, I can have a good time as well as the next man. He does a couple of little steps. <laughs> 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 we had a good time with that moment. <laughs> Love that moment. Yeah. Excellent. And this is again a question I will pose to whoever wants to answer. There are so many themes in the film that are currently relevant today, from the treatment of Black performers and entertainment to the camaraderie amongst Black men. What is one of your favorite themes or highlights of the film? I think it's very powerful to see four black men together in a room. Um, but there's so much, um, it's, uh, it's jocular, it is, uh, it is sincere, it's raw, honest. It's August Wilson writes the way black people actually speak and to each other, especially when white people aren't in the room. And so I think it's a beautiful um, way to really examine um, black men and also an examination of a, a very fierce black woman who is very self-possessed and who, who believes that, you know, she just, she just demands her worth. And that's what we've been all been fighting for, for since time on Memorial. And I think um, it just really percolates in this film.